church, we're going to read a very short verse today. It's Proverbs 29, verse 20. Listen to what God's word says to us. There is more hope for a fool than for someone who speaks without thinking. Well, you know, we were doing our Bible study the other night on Zoom, and uh, we do those on Monday nights, and we're going through Proverbs. Not this chapter. It was an earlier chapter, but Proverbs often speaks to us about practical things in our life. And here we look at the scripture, and it's very practical in the sense that it's telling us, like, don't just let your mouth go off. Don't just uh, allow the very first thing that pops into your brain to come out of the mouth. Stop and think before speaking. And uh, some of us, that's hard for us to do. Now, I know not everybody has that issue, but it can be an issue for all of us when we allow our emotions or things that are happening in the moment create a response in us that we just kind of throw out there. And God's word is saying, like, look, man, there's more hope for a fool than someone who does this. So it's like God, when he uses the word fool, it's a pretty serious thing. And so when we think about that, he's saying, like, someone that's, like, really incompetent and, and unable to function has more hope than someone that just speaks without thinking. A lot of times we're tempted to just give our opinion on everything that's happening in the moment. And a lot of times it's an emotional response and not a spiritual one or a processed one or a thought out one. And so I just want to encourage you today to allow the Holy Spirit to place that bridle around your head and a bit on your tongue. And I'm referencing my horses and you know that, like just that metal bar that just goes right in here and lays on the tongue. For it is that that steers the horse. And if we allow the Holy Spirit to have the reins, he will help us to begin to bridle that tongue. So let's not be fools, as God's word declares, but let's begin to practice thinking before we speak. Let's be a church.